Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we tackle a problem from the PE Civil Water Resources Exam. A community had a population of 875,000 people in the year 2000. The 2020 census revealed that the community grew to a population of 982,000 people. The community is constructing a new drinking water treatment plant and the community's building standards require all new public facilities to be constructed to a useful service life to the year 2050. Assuming exponential growth, what population should the new treatment plant be designed to serve? So if we take a look at this problem, we tackle it in two steps and we turn to the PE reference handbook to the population projection equations which are in the water resources and environmental section and specifically we look at the exponential growth equation population projections and again that's in the PE reference handbook in the water resources and environmental section and we're told in the problem statement that we have exponential growth and that's important because that's going to tell us which equation to use of the population projection so make sure you double check that as you're working a problem like this so the exponential growth equation is equal to population at time t is equal to population at time zero e raised to the k which is the growth factor growth rate times delta t and what we're going to do in step one is solve specifically for this k the growth rate factor be our first step so p at time t so at time t we're going to call time t the 2020 census because we know that at that time we had a population of 982,000 people so I'll write 982,000 is equal to population at time zero. So at time zero, we'll call that the year 2000 when the population was 875,000 times E K. Well, we said that's the variable we're solving for times delta T. Well, the time that's elapsed between 2000 to 2020, that's 20 years. So we'll call delta t 20 years and we'll divide both sides of the equation by 875,000 that leaves us with 1.1223 on this side of the equation is equal to e k times 20 years on the other 875,000 cancels out so to Eliminate E, we'll take the natural log of both sides, so the natural log of 1.1223, the natural log of E raised to the K times 20, natural log and E cancel out, the natural log of 1.1223 is 0 0.11536 is equal to K times 20 years. We divide both by 20 and we determine that k is equal to 0 0.005768. Then in step 2, we calculate the projection at 2050. So we use the same equation, but what we'll do is we'll make it 2050. So p at time t, so p at 20. 50 is equal to the population at time zero, which is the population in the year 2000 of 875,000 people. E raised to the K, which we just determined in step one was 0 0.005768 times delta T, but be careful. In step one, delta T was 20 years because we were working with the population between 2000 and 2020 because both of those populations were known. We were solving for K using both of those variables. 
Here, we know our k value because we found it in step one, and we're looking specifically for the population 2050. And there's 50 years between the year 2000 and the year 2050. So in this case, the delta t value is 50 years. Be careful, we see a lot of students get caught up or tripped up by this. So you're smarter than that. You know this trick or this potential stumbling block. So be careful. So that said, we performed the calculation. We determined that the population at 2050 is equal to 1 million. 170, excuse me, 167,576.213 people. And if we look at the answer choices, we see that is closest to answer choice D. And we've successfully solved this problem. So if you're looking for more practice as you prepare for your water resources or any of the other disciplines of your civil PE exam, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out our ultimate civil engineering review course, PE review course. We have all the major disciplines of civil engineering covered as well as review courses for the FE exams and also in floodplain management. Um, great resources and we'll see you over there.